First thing we need to do is pull that cap here on the passenger side. It's a 19 mil. And let uh release the vacuum that gets created on these. You'll probably hear a suction sound when you take it off of there. And that also uh has a dipstick in it for you to check it once we get it running here. So pull that out. Now the fluid you must use in this transmission is Mercon SP. Ford may eventually go to Mercon LV, but still the recommending for the 6R60 is Mercon SP as originally stated. Um, this fluid is not interchangeable with any of the other fluids. Don't, don't buy a generic fluid that handles it all. SP has special friction modifiers in it, just like LV does, uh, for the, to match the friction plates and the material in there. So make sure you get Mercon SP from Motorcraft, from your Ford dealer or whatever. And uh, that's the stuff to use, so you have no issues. So in order to fill it up, you need to do something like this, or if you have a suction gun, you could use that also. Uh, and just curve up the hose up and around it like that. I got an actual hook type style here. Um, go ahead and fill it with four and a half quarts or so and you'll see it'll come out the top a little bit there. That's good. Now we're ready to go ahead and start it and then we can come back down and adjust the fluid level from there once it's running. So you're going to have to get in here right next to the cat right here and uh, stick your hand up in here. Maybe get some of those heat resistant gloves or the of glove or whatever that is. And uh, check the trans fluid level. Make sure it's fully seated in there like that. And take it out. And check it out. Alright, where I like to have this at is at the very bottom of the hash marks because I don't expect you to be checking the trans fluid level when it's full hot, which is 176, 185 degrees. Uh, that would get pretty intense up there next, next to that cat uh, laying on the ground. So, what I would do is put it to the bottom, get it warm, but um, not full hot like that. Get it to the bottom of those cross, cross hatch marks like that. And then uh, as the fluid expands, it'll get into that cross-match uh, area for sure. Uh, when it's the full hot position, anywhere in that cross-hatch is okay. So, as long as you're right at the bottom right there, when it's, it's, it's just warm, when it expands and gets in that hot temperature range, it'll be well within the hatch marks, and it'll be at the right fluid level. Um, and you won't be burning your hand and sit next to a hot 2,000 degree cat. Okay, once you're satisfied with your fluid level there, go ahead and put the dipstick back into there so it holds it for us. And then uh, put the cap back on here. It's a 19 mil, three quarters, whatever you got. And uh, now we got the trans fluid level at the perfect level. And that's it.